so that was really awesome. It was such a privilege to be there. Now, discovering this, this closet artist, finding this, club, this closet artist within, I, I, it seems to me that a lot of that would have to do with expressing who you are. And, and, and what I see in your paintings is an expression of black womanhood. I know the title of your upcoming uh, exhibition at the Langston Hughes Library is Dreaming mm -hmm. Out Loud. Yes. And so are these dreams and visions of how you see black women? Tell, tell, me, tell me about this, this oh, well, you're, these expressions. You're, okay, you, you know, let me respond first, if I may, to the prevalence of the feminine in my work. I, because I paint from who I am and where I am, the, the life and the longings and the passions and the rage of black women is what's most accessible to, to me. And so I'm usually coming from that center. What I also find about finding your creative path, not whether you're an artist or whether you become a teacher, whatever it is, whatever you've been doing prior to that will lead you, will, will be pulled into the process, the current process. So when I was in my early 20s, I was part of the women's movement and, and was a button where I wore <laughs> with black fists. I was part of an organization called National Black Feminist Organization. Wonderful okay. experience in, in my youth, but it got me in touch with some of the issues of that, that are pertinent to being a black woman, but also the power of the feminine. And, and I live in a culture, Yousef, where when people pray, they often, you know, they say, our Father who art in heaven, I, that f affects the psychology. When you live in a, a world where the buildings are, are square and linear, the, that, that. Phallic. And, and, and <laughs> phallic, you know, we, we, we want some of that. We want the feminine, <laughs> when we're talking about balance here. But to live in a culture that, that represents the masculine value in so many ways, it in, its, in itself could sort of repress the power of the feminine, and so I wanted to explore that and tell the story of the, f the feminine. Well, let's talk about some of these okay. pieces. Uh, let's start. You have a, you have paintings here, and you have mixed yes. media collages. Yes. And uh huh. Let's 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 start with uh, this painting in the center. Okay. The well, I'm, I'm glad we're with we're starting the with name? that one. The name of that painting is Recreation, and I. Can we focus in on that painting at the top here? Yeah. I started painting this when I was um, processing my fibroids, which had grown to such an extent that I looked as if I was eight months pregnant. Um, and, and in our culture, if you have an illness, if you have something that's growing, People say yank it out as if it's a bad thing. And so I was under a lot of pressure to remove my womb, and, um, which was the repository of these fibroids. And, but I didn't want to assume that the fibroids were all negative. I thought there must be wisdom in this process. So there I'm must mm -hmm. be a message in the fibroids. And so I wanted to understand what that was about because I was concerned if I just yanked it out, something big would be growing up on the side of my head. And, and so I wanted to get it before I um, removed them, you know, through this very traumatic um, surgical procedure. So this is a healing process. Oh, absolutely. You. I started it before mm -hmm. I went in to have my operation and I finished it when I came out. And so are, are, are you interested in, in what I got as a process uh, in the process certainly, of doing certainly. this painting? I mean, the menstrual blood seems to be very heavily symbolic here. And I'm yes. It, in when I, um, a baby, I guess, well, or? you know, it may look like there's a baby uh, coming out, but if you if you look closer between and she's being her legs, by midwives, uh, I, I, yes, well. <laughs> you said, um, you, you're just so into this. Okay, you tell me what you see. I see this woman who's like with the rays. It's like some kind of healing power with her hands. This okay. woman who's in white in the, in the over here with the, these 
raised. And uh, mm -hmm. there's another sister up in a tree. Mm -hmm. um, and what does she represent for you? And then there seems to be the spiritual okay. person in the cosmos, this, this yes. universal woman. And I like her. presenting God below because we always mm -hmm. think of God being in the heaven okay. up there, but okay. of course God is all around and everywhere. And the, this, this the young the young woman in the tree seems mm -hmm. to be a girl, maybe somebody who's going through her own rites of passage uh, as a teenager or something. Tell or me, <laughs> <laughs> tell me, because I'll tell you, Yusuf, when I paint, I let go of my intellectual head, and I paint what comes up for me to paint. So a lot of times, you know, some... the woman with the spiritual power over uh -huh. here is the older woman. She's the elder. Uh -huh. In the corner here with the wife? Yeah. Which, oh, Who's she's an ancestor. Of, okay. Oh, she's okay. actually, she's an ancestor. She's, she's, an ancestor. Oh, okay. she's the unseen okay. power which is there with us through our aches and our pains and through our healings of process. What I got from um, doing this painting is that, is that I actually am a creative person, not just from my art, but from my ability to create the kind of life and, and to participate in building a world culture which is wholesome. And that I, in my own being, had been holding back, holding in, being timid, being reluctant. And so it says, if I believe that the message of the fibroids was, you are creative, and it was creating, and it mimics a pregnancy, which to me meant that th it, there was a time for me to let go of this creative power that was amassing. And, and because I was being so indirect with my power, I believe that, that I, my power manifested circuitously through mimicking a pregnancy. And so, and so while it may appear that that's the baby, actually she is giving birth to her own self. This is, She's that's a woman, that's a woman birth. giving yeah. birth to, to a woman. And there are some mm. aspects of being, which I do believe is, is the like purview the, of women. I, I think it relates to that. Yeah. I mean, that closet th theme for me is big. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very big it, because in so my it's finding oneself, finding one's finding, path, finding finding my own self. Mm -hmm. Certainly, um, what I discovered about my my own life experiences, because I was I, I you know like many people, there was trauma in my in my early youth, and and I. I had the gift of children, and the gift that children have in the face of unspeakable pain is to go within, you, you, to disconnect. And there's a power in that, because if children were not able to go within and go into that closet, they couldn't survive life in many cases. And so, but there's a time when that works, but I was still, coming into being a woman still closeted. I, I just held on to that. Let, let me just ask. And it was time to let it go. The philosophy is really heavy. Let me just ask uh, about the technique and, 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 and whatever school. Is this a primitive school or what, what, what school of art would you say that you paint within? This is, the, <laughs> this is the school of Deborah Singletary. I hear that. <laughs> it's, it's, um, in order to create, I had to let go of what good art should look mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. There was a time when I tried taking art classes. The professors, the art teachers were not interested. They were interested in what they saw as good art. So I could never get over it. They, they, I never got the encouragement that I needed. But I discovered that if you say to children, paint your family, they will paint okay. something that represents family. And if you are intuitive and perhaps connected with that child, you can learn something about what's going on to the child. They don't have to be trained to speak their heart. The heart pumps. The well, heart is there. And, and what I do is just say, if I want to paint a tree, I don't worry about the proportion and the color. I paint whatever kind of tree I want to paint. If it's a blue tree with, with orange um, heads growing over on it, so be it because that becomes a message from my soul. So I let go of technique. Technique for me 
is li very limiting, then it means the tree can only look a certain kind of way. I, I'm sure that there's not but a tree 